I hereby summon all my imps. Hey everybody, it's Annabelle. Uh, there's 11 more cards that have come up. So I'm going to do an 11 review on this one because that'll bring us to the cards that have been reviewed up until this point. Uh, so the first one up for us is Flesh Behemoth. Flesh Behemoth is a 9 mana, 4, 8 undead that has Taunt and Death Rattle. Draw another undead and summon a copy of it. So this requires you to have an undead in your uh, draw pile. It can't be the flesh behemoth itself because of how it's written. And it's got to be a decently good card because on turn 9 you're, lo you're looking to close out a game. This is not a closer. There's no way, shape, or form that this is a closer. This is a mid-range, uh, mid-way uh, card, and this is not a closer. So I will give this a... Uh, minions are for closers. Okay, next up for us is the Fall Egg. The Fall Egg is a 0-3 Undead for 1 mana. Uh, it's an egg, and it's like every other egg card. And it has Death Rattle Summon a 3-3 Undead Chicken. And uh, let me see if I can see the other part of this, because the other part of this is called the, the Fall Fall. Just kind of a fun and little um, ability on this. Yep, nope. And basically, this is just a egg card. It's undead. You basically are making your opponent decide if it wants to kill this, or let you do something with the undead ability if you're trying to you have an un a sick undead card. This is a warden turn that's going to stick around because even if they kill this, the chicken is undead too, and the chicken's more attack than the egg is. So I'll give this a which is worse, the chicken or the egg. After that, we move on to. The Umbral Geist. Umbral Geist is a 2 mana 3 1. Death Rattle and a random shadow spell to your hand. Uh, high attack, low defense. Uh, easy to ping off early game. But it, getting a shadow spell in your hand. There's some good shadow spells. There's some bad shadow spells. And the fact is that some class would really like a shadow spell to play with. But the thing that you have to remember about this is random is random. And there's going to be a time where you're going to grab a shadow spell and it's going to give you zero help. There's going to be a time where you grab a shadow spell and you're going to sit there and giggle. And giggle a little heavily. So I will give this a random out of random. Except for us is the Banshee. The Banshee is a 1 mana 2 1 death rattle. Give a random friendly undead uh, two, plus 2 plus 1. Uh, early game, interesting, mid game, interesting. Uh, you have to kill the Banshee last, basically. 
Do you have any other thing left on the board that's undead? I mean, it's just a solid card. It's, it's, um... It's given plus two, plus one to anything that's undead. I, you're gonna see enough undead that are walking around. So I'll give this a solid one drop that's not bad in the middle. Next up for us is the Arms Dealer. Arms Dealer has a one mana one two. After you summon a undead, give it plus one attack. Now, the most important thing to know about this particular one, it's not just until end of turn. That plus one attack is on there permanently. So, slam this down, maybe throw like four or five things down on the board on a turn that happen to be undead. And just giggle as you kind of did like a savage roar almost. So there's going to be times where this is going to be real good if you can manage to get like four or five undead down on the same turn. And just use this as a plus one buff. Next up for us. It's the incorporeal corporal. It's a 2 mana 5, 5 undead that after it attacks, it destroys itself. Uh, there's a 2 mana 4, 5? That basically isn't seen play at all. And just requires you to discard a card. I'm not sure if plus 1 plus 1 is going to be that much of a difference. Yeah, I know that one's for Demon Hunter. And this one can go into like priests and stuff like that, and we'll see. So I'm gonna give this a priest says hello. Next up for us. is going to be the Drakkar Embler Embalmer, sorry Draconai Embalmer which uh, Draconai Embalmer is a 3 mana 3-4 three, it gets a friendly uh, undead reborn with a battle cry Note to anybody who hasn't seen Reborn in a long time because it has been not in the game for a long time. You cannot give Reborn to something that already has Reborn. So if a card has Reborn and you play this down and it happens to be undead, it won't get double Reborn. It still won't have that one Reborn counter on it. Other than that, this is just a general spider tank card. So it's a spider tank with a slight upside. Next up for us. Is going to be the... I'm not even going to try to pronounce this card. I'm going to say... Tensocator Silvana. That's how I'm pronouncing this, and it's probably horribly wrong. It's a 5 mana, 4 5, uh, life steal. Whenever this attacks, deal 2 damage to an enemy hero. It itself has life steal, comes down on 5. It kind of has that Plague Villager vibe to it. That's kind of how Plague Villager works. Where when it attacks, it's going to do the two straight off the bat. So it's going to do two, and then assuming that like if you have nothing else in the way, it's going to take four. That's going to do like six for health. It's, it's... You can play something better than just a six six on a turn five in this game. So I mean, 
If you need a slot to fill, it's not the worst thing to put in there, but that's about the best I can say about this. Next up is going to be the Nerubian Zavera. Which is a 3 mana 3-4 three, battle cry. Discover a spell if a friendly undead died after your last turn. It costs two less. So, this is another one of those weird cards that exists. Because the way that it's currently written is, is that you have to have an undead die on what I'm going to call your off turn. So, if an undead dies on your turn, even the last turn, So, like, let's say you play this down and you trade it in, and then you play another one of these down, the battle cry won't go off. But if you play this on your last turn, end your turn, and then your opponent kills it, then the discover will go off. So, I'm going to give this a, this kind of phraseology is going to catch a lot of people. Next up for us is going to be the Valkyrie Nicolite. Valkyrie Nicolite. Give a friendly ran give a friendly minion death row, summon a 2-2 zombie with rush. Two mana 2-2 two, two, undead by itself. The friendly minion doesn't have to be undead. Uh you can basically throw this on anything. You got a minion out, just want to use it to kind of kill off something. Get a 2 2 zombie with rush. I wish there were something else to do with the graveyard besides just Death Knights having that graveyard, but I can see why Death Knights are the one who get it. It just seems that, like, That was almost thought of like as an as a, an ability that they were going to give to everybody with how much of this is kind of working. So I will give this a neat ability, but kind of limited. And the last card for us is going to be the plague spreader. Plague Spreader is a 4 mana 4-4 four, four that has Death Rattle. Transform a random minion in your opponent's hand into a Plague Spreader. So this kind of has the Dirty Rat, um... Nutanus kind of feel to it. Where you play this down and you basically know your opponent has a combo card on them. The only thing is, is with how Dirty Rat and Nutanus and, and a lot of those cards work, they've got the instant punch, and this requires Death Rattle. So, that's the problem where this one lies, and then when you do Death Rattle it, your opponent gets a copy of this in their hand, which they can put down, and knowing my look, and the look that I get a ton of times, I'm going to get like a... I'm going to get like a bunny in their hand, and they're going to get like my Saturn after this when they play theirs. So I'm going to give this a Dirty Rat out of... Maybe... Saturn after this? Alright, so those are the other 11 cards that came out, so I did one more than my usual because it's going to bring us up to being caught up at this time. Uh, no card reveals tomorrow, and then we'll be back on Monday to do some card reveals. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, remember, play for fun.